G'day guys, Pete here again. Awesome to see you back again. And if you're new to my channel, hope you like what you see. If you're into plasma cutters, this is the place to be. Mad Pete, the plasma cutter king. Yeah! Hi guys, have I got a treat in store for you today? I've got three plasma cutters here. They're all brand new. There's only about $30 difference in the retail price, but we've got one outstanding machine. Another one that's also very good, and another one that's bleh. Anyway guys, what I'll do is I'll show you the features of all these three machines. You see if you can figure out which one's the best. Because even if you pay about the same money for them, there's a huge difference. Even how you end up assembling the things. Some of them need a lot of assembly, some of them need no assembly. Anyway guys, same as usual. If you like what you see, subscribe. If you don't, see you later. Bye. So guys, I can almost hear you thinking to yourself, the guy's supposed to be doing a review on this, so what the hell is he talking about these other two machines? What I want to do, guys, is I'll just show you the features of these two, and then we'll compare them to this one. And there's only about $30 difference across the whole range of these three machines, and you might be surprised the difference you get for 30 bucks. I certainly was. So we've got our three machines here, guys, and you're saying to yourself, they're all the bloody same. They're all a cheap plasma cutter, there's no difference. Well, there's no huge difference, but there is a difference, guys. And let me explain what it is. So we've got all three machines here, guys, and they're all pilot arc. Now, pilot arc is when you pull the trigger and the flame comes out of your torch and you don't have to touch it on the metal that you're trying to cut. And if you're new to plasma cutting, guys, pilot arc is the way to go. Trust your old mate, Pete, because he knows. So, guys, let me show you the similarities of all three machines. There is one with a little bit of a difference, guys, and if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll show you which one it is, but you might already have guessed. Now, if we have a look at this machine, guys, this machine is capable of cutting 50 amps, and it also has a post-time knob on it, which is this knob here. Now, post-time allows you to adjust the amount of air coming out of your plasma torch once you've let the trigger go. So, in other words, after you've stopped cutting, the post-time allows your consumables to cool down. Now, the bit more technical machines have a post-time knob. Like this, you can adjust it from 2 seconds right up to 15 seconds. But a word of warning here, guys. If you've got a long post-time, like 14 or 15 seconds, it's going to suck the crap out of your compressor. So if you've got a big compressor, no problem. If you've got a little compressor, turn the post-time down to like 2 or maybe even 1.5 seconds. Otherwise, your compressor's going to start and stop and start and stop all the time. So sometimes you're just a little bit better off just to burn through your consumables a little bit quicker rather than have your compressor starting and stopping. Right, if we have a look at this one here, guys, this is actually the biggest plasma cutter here, and it's 55 amps. So let's have a look at some of the features on this. So if you notice the size of this machine, guys, it's a lot smaller than the other two machines. Also, being 55 amp, it's also the biggest power of both of these other machines but you might also notice guys it doesn't have a post time on here it just has straight 50 to 55 amps now they say this is a 55 amp machine see like the p55 pro but i've got my doubts whether it's actually 55 amps or it's not i've done some tests on it and i'm not convinced that it's actually 55 amp but anyway that's that's another story and as you can see this is pretty plain looking in the front there's no flash gadgetry on this it's got your air gauge here, it's just got your amp knob here, off on switch and an LED screen here, and the overcurrent light here. Now you might be thinking that this would be the cheapest machine of all three, but you'd be wrong. Now we come to the best dark 50 amp machine guys, and that's it here. And as you can see guys, it has a little bit more adjustment than the other two. So why is that? So this machine, guys, is multi-voltage, which means that it automatically detects 110 volt and 220 volt. You just need to plug it into your wall outlet and the machine will automatically detect what voltage it's running on. Just bear in mind, if you're running it on 110 volt, you're only going to get 35 amps out of it. If you're running it on 220 volt, you're going to get the full 50 amps out of it. Now, what I like about this machine, guys, is that you have got an air adjustment on the front. You've got your post time in a digital readout where it's a lot more accurate to set the correct post time, especially, like I said, if you're running it on a small compressor. And if you're only running it on 110 volts, it gives you the option to dial it down so that you're not blowing out all your circuit breakers in your workshop all the time when you're trying to cut a hunk of metal. 
Now if we turn it around, I'll show you one of the best features that I find with this machine anyway, is that this comes pre-built up like this. I didn't have to assemble this at all. The air filter and the air connector is already built up when you get it out of the box, so there's no assembly required. In fact, this whole machine, you didn't have to assemble anything. All you had to do was plug in the torch, and away you go. It's the first time ever I've come across a machine like that. Normally, you have to assemble the bloody things, and then figure out how to assemble it, because the instructions are normally in Chinese or something stupid like that. And if you've never had a plasma cutter before, you don't know how to assemble all this stuff. So, what I think, this machine would be ideal for someone who's new to plasma cutting. Now another advantage I've found guys with this machine is when we turn it on see we're starting up here can you hear that? No, you can hear nothing it's because the fan's not going now the first time I ever plugged this in I thought oh my god I've got one that doesn't work and then I realised guys it's got an on demand fan now what the hell's an on demand fan you're saying? unlike this machine here you plug it in, you turn it on, the fan goes all the time. This has a superior cooling circuit in it, and the fan only goes when you pull the trigger. Watch, or listen. Hear that? The air stopped, and the fan's going. Now, depending how long you've been cutting for, how hot the machine is, that's how long the fan will run for. As soon as the machine's cooled off enough that it's not going to do any damage, the fan automatically shuts down even if you've still got the machine turned on. Now for a cheap machine, this has got some really, really good features on it. Another thing to note guys, when you pull the trigger on your torch, and then you pull the trigger again, in quick succession can you see the delay from when I pull the trigger to when the flame actually starts coming out of here and what that's designed to do is no matter how fast you pull that trigger again it gives at least one second for the consumables to cool down no matter how much you've got your post time set you watch See that guys, isn't that cool? Yeah. So guys, from this one to this one, I'll show you the difference. So this machine guys is 55 amps. Turn it up to pay 55 amps, whereas the other one is only 50 amps. This also has the gauge that's built in to the machine here. Once again guys, machine is pilot arc. But if you notice with this machine guys, when I turn it on, the fan comes on straight away. There's no on-demand cooling like in the other machine that I showed you. And also there's no post time. We can't adjust how much air comes out of the plasma cutter torch once we've stopped cutting. Which is all very well if you've got a big compressor. But if you haven't got a big compressor, you need to be able to adjust how much post time air comes out of your torch. Otherwise you'll find, like I said before, that you're going to be running out of air all the time. So normally if you don't have an adjustment guys, the factory set is about four or five seconds, so let's see what it is. Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5. So there you go, about five seconds guys. So every time you do a cut, it's using five more seconds of air because you can't turn it down, then your cut actually needs. So what it's saying is it's giving us five seconds to cool down the consumables before we start again. So that's as clear as mud, Pete. Yeehaw! So guys, now I've told you a bit about all three machines, you might have a better idea about what to look for when you're buying a cheap plasma cutter. So let's give them a new plasma cutter a go. The old Best Arc 50 amp plasma cutter. See what she can cut. Yeehaw! So guys, what you see is what you get. Comes straight out of the box. Like I said to you before, no need to assemble anything. All you gotta do is plug your torch in the front, plug your airline in the back, so guys, as you can see, I'm running it on 220 volt. I'll turn down the post time to 0.2 seconds. Um, we're running at the full 50 amps because I'm running it on 220. Like I said before, if you're running it on 110, you're only going to get 35 amps out of it, like so. So what I might do, guys, is I'll do a couple of cuts on 35 amps, and then we'll do a couple of cuts on 50 amps, and that'll give you a comparison between 110 volt and 220 volt. So the first cut should be pretty easy guys, this is about 4mm plate, 
and we're running it on 35 amps as if we were running it on 110 volts. So let's see what the baby can do. <laughs> See that guys, piece of cake. I can even do loop the loops and I can do shapes and all sorts of things. 35 amps. And this is also quite thick steel, guys. It's not as if it's ship metal. You wouldn't bend this with your hand, not a big sheet of it anyway. Now let's try something different, guys. A piece of five millimeter angle iron, and it's covered in rust and crap. So we'll wonder if we can cut that at 35 amps. Give it a crack, Nigel. You gotta watch the rusty stuff, guys, because rusty stuff is no good to cut unless you've got a really good earth. How awesome is that guys? And that's rusty steel. And plasma cutters hate rust. But like I showed you, move your earth as close as you possibly can to where you're cutting, even if it's rusty, and you'll find that it goes from spitting like it was before to cutting like that. <laughs> I love plasma cutting. Right guys, I've got an old weight off an old weight bench here, and it's about 10 millimeters, so I think it's actually 11 millimeters. About half an inch, is it? What's half an inch? About 25 mil, so 11. Yeah, so it's about half an inch, I think. Maybe just a fraction under, which is about the maximum that best arc machine is designed to cut. So we'll see if we can do it on 35 amps. Once again, guys, the same trick. Put your earth lead as close as possible to where you're going to be cutting. Like that. I've got my doubts whether this will do this on 110 volts, but let's see. The machine may surprise me. Well, look at that, guys. That's on 110 volts. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Very, very impressed with that. So now, you guys, what we'll do is we'll crank them up to the full 50 amps, and we'll keep our post time the same, and we'll keep our air pressure the same, about 60, 65 PSI, and we'll see if that actually makes a difference with the extra amps. Right now, guys, we've got the same 4 mil plate. We're running at 50 amps. What's the difference, if there is any? Seems to have a lot more grunt, guys. See, you can move it a lot quicker. Did you notice that? It just seems to give you more control if you're going to cut out shapes or whatever you want to do. But that cut through that like a hot, nice brew butter. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Plasma cut a mad Pete. The guy's as mad as a box of frogs. I've never heard that saying before, but someone wrote in the comments that you're as mad as a box of frogs. I like it. I might use that one. Oh, right, yeah, guys, we've got the same manky bit of angle line. See what 50 amps can do to that sucker. <laughs> oh, Pete, remember, remember. Put your earth clamp close to where you're cutting, especially with the rusty stuff. Piece of cake, guys. That was really, really quick. You can actually really feel the power difference between the uh, 35 and the 50 amps. So here we are with the uh, half inch plate again, guys. Let's kick this in the guts at 50 amps, see what it does. Yeah. 
So guys, I better grab my gloves because that's friggin' hot. So if you look at that guys, beautiful cut, 50 amps. You notice I left the earth clamp here because we're just running a little bit more power and I didn't think I needed to put the earth clamp so close. But if I had to put the earth clamp on here, it would have cut even better than that. So I'm really, really impressed with that guys. So guys, out of the three machines I've shown you, my first pick would be this one. And this is about $229. My second pick would be a close second, would be this one over here. And that's $199. And my third pick, guys, would be this one here. All three are going to do the job. But sometimes you just like a few more adjustments and other bits and pieces. This one here is the dearest of all three. Well, it was when I bought it anyway. So I'll put some links for you in the description, guys. See how much they are at Amazon at the moment. Because sometimes they run really, really good specials. And you guys can make up your own mind what's best suited for yourselves. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want. If you would like to see a review on this machine here, check up here, I'll put one up there. And if you want to see an unboxing on this machine here, check over the other side there guys. See ya. Bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.